to my channel. I'm so glad to have you with me today. I know there's so many videos out there and you're trying to catch up on them all. So I appreciate you taking the time to give me an opportunity to show you my journey and have fun with me as I save a little money. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Your support really helps me every day that I do a new video, that I engage in the comments. It means the absolute, absolute world to me every time I interact with each and every one of you. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new here, I'd like to say hi and welcome. My name is Estelle. I am the budgeting introvert on Instagram as well as YouTube. And I love saving money because it's fun. Growing up, we might have thought saving money was the most tedious thing to do and it's easier to spend. But you know what? It can be easier to save too if you can just make it fun. So if that's something that you'd like to know more about or you're interested in or you want to see how I do it, please click the subscribe button, join the friends and family that I practically have made here, and I look forward to talking to you down below or on Instagram. <laughs> so before I get into my this or that challenge, which I can't wait to start for round two, because it's my second time doing it, I wanted to harp back on my last video where I mentioned that I would be doing a giveaway. Uh, Valerie from the Cash Budget Retiree gifted me a remake of these four scratch-offs, which I'm going to keep those because I love them so much. And I love these too, but I also want to do a giveaway. I've never done one before, and all of you guys have been so supportive of me that I at least want, want to give back. I think that's fair. So I am going to do this giveaway. And I think what I want to do is there's four cards here. They're all, and I'll put them out so you can see what they look like. I'll do my best to organize this so you can see it better. But there's four cards here. And I mean, they're all for $50 each one. So if you're a low cash budgeter, this is absolutely perfect for you. You know, you don't have to save a lot of money. But there's four of them. As you can plainly see, they're all laid out. They're beautiful. And I would like to give them to four individuals. Um, if I don't get four people to enter, then, you know, if I only get two, then, you know, two for one person and two for another. You know, I'm, I'm okay with that. But I would like to give the four if I can. So to enter the giveaway, I'm going to put a hashtag in the video down the road. And all you have to do is put that hashtag down below to enter into this giveaway. Um... I'm going to have this giveaway start today, and it will go all the way to uh, Sunday, because Sunday is probably when I'll do my next video, and it'll come out on Monday. So by Monday, you'll know who the winners are. I will reach out to you to get your information so I can send it out, probably DM you. If you have an email, I'll email you, so it just depends. But yeah, so if you're interested... Uh, check out this video somewhere in there. I will drop a hashtag, put it down below, and you'll be entered to win one of these cute little guys. So I hope we get some people who are interested, and I look forward to, you know, having people have these scratch-offs. I'm sure Valerie would love it, too, because she does such quality work, and it's better to share in a community where it's all about saving money. So I hope that interests all of you, and let's get on with the video. All right, we got this little guy here. My little this or that. And we have some cash. So, last time we did this, you learned a little bit about me when it came to my favorite foods. So let's try to learn a bit more about me with my favorite foods. So 5, 10, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So we have $30 to work with. Cash tray open. So it's not too bad. Okay. Information on where I purchased this will be down below if you're new here. 
If you're not, then you already know, because I mentioned it in my previous videos. But, you know, it's a budgeting introvert, so I'm appreciative of that. So let's roll the dice and see what we get. 17. 17, 17. And I numbered these, by the way. So we did 17 last time, and avocado was the one that I picked. So the only one left is tomato, which again, I am not a tomato person. I do like ketchup, but I can't do tomatoes on a salad or practically in anything else if it's not ketchup. So that's $8. So let's do five. Let's get that two out for seven and eight. So that means 17 is complete. So if we roll 17 again, I might forget that I already did this one, but there's no more to know about me as far as 17 is concerned. You guys know I prefer avocados over tomatoes. Okay. 10. So let's flip back. This is 10. Baked or fried? Oh, well, this is no brainer here. Um, we're going fried all day, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I know this isn't healthy. I know. But let's be real here. We all know we love McDonald's French fries. And we, we will, you know, get those big fries in a minute. You know, if McDonald's isn't your favorite fry, tell me which one is. If you do have a favorite. Some people do. If it's not fast food, it can be what you buy in the supermarket. That's $3 for that one. So, you know, let me know. McDonald's fries are just my favorite. It just is. No offense to Burger King or any other takeout, but McDonald's don't play. <laughs> they put their foot in it with their fries. Three. So let's find three. Here we go. I see four. So three must be on the other side. Milk or juice. This, again, is a no-brainer. I am a milk drinker. I used to, my mom used to get on me all the time because, you know, milk isn't, wasn't cheap back then and it's definitely not cheap now. And I would drink milk like you drink water. It was my go-to for everything and it's getting $7. And I can just drink it straight. I don't need to eat cookies with it. I don't need to, you know, um, have cereal with it. I don't have to do any of that. I can get a cup pour some milk in it, and just drink it straight. I love milk. So milk for the win. 11. Ooh, okay. Um, broccoli or corn? Okay, when I was a kid, I hated broccoli. I don't know any kid who liked broccoli. Maybe when you were a baby and it was mushed up in a can, it was your favorite. But broccoli wasn't my go-to. I was always a corn. But if we're talking about me today, grown woman, I'm going to go broccoli over corn. I know younger me would, would roll their eyes and say, you lying. <laughs> but no, I love broccoli. I just do. So I'm definitely going to go broccoli on this one. So six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so any other broccoli lovers out there, you know, if you're a broccoli lover, drop that emoji down below. <laughs> I don't know many people who like broccoli. I have some people who actually hate it because they said it just looks funny. As cartoony as that is, that's a beautiful cartoon. Some people just don't like broccoli, you know. So wait, I have three dollars left. You know what? I'm going to go for it. If I get an IOU, it's okay. You know, I will, you know, deal with that. But I do want to at least try. So, 15. <laughs> oh, beefy, B-free budgets. This is for you. Ramen or sushi? Okay, to me, this isn't fair. <laughs> this isn't fair. I... Love both of these. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, ramen or su okay. Okay. 
If I have to pick, and that's what it's making me do. I'm sorry, Be Free, Be Free Budgets, and I mention her because she has a channel here on YouTube, and on Sunday she does Sushi Sundays on her channel. So, I am so sorry, but we're going to go ramen here. And, and I'll tell you why. I, I just really love ramen. A nice bowl of ramen, especially, you know, with some pork in it. You know, fish cake, just genuine traditional Japanese ramen, I love. But if you want to go cup of noodle, I'll go cup of noodle with you too. I don't know if you consider that ramen, I think it is, but we can go cup of noodle. So I'm so sorry, but I went with ramen. So I owe a dollar to this challenge, and that's okay. I will, you know what, let me see if I have... You know what? I might have a dollar in my wallet. Let me go check real quick. I had an extra dollar. So I'd rather just put it in. So one, two, three, and four. And that way we don't have to do an IOU. That's perfectly fine. Okay. So that's it. That's everything for this or that. That was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> it went quick, but it was a lot of fun and another way for you guys to get to know me and what I like to eat. Okay, so the cash tray is empty, so you know what that means. That means this video is over. I thank you so much for being here with me today. Please remember that that hashtag is below if you'd like to enter into the giveaway for the $50 scratch off made by the cash budget retiree. I thank you so much for being here with me today and I look forward to catching you in the next one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.